Carnegie Mellon University has a long history in studying all levels of brain function, uh, going from uh, individual neurons to networks of neurons to uh, whole brain, right? so psychology and philosophy. What we're doing in my research group is to try to understand how large populations of neurons work together uh, using novel statistical machine learning methods. And uh, particular questions that we're very interested in right now uh, involve learning. And uh, one of the tools that we're using to study learning is brain-computer interfaces. The university has a long tradition in using the latest technologies to understand how the brain works. So a brain-computer interface is uh, a system uh, that reads out neural activity from individual neurons in the brain and then translates that neural activity into movements of a cursor on a computer screen. And hopefully this knowledge will allow us uh, to develop uh, systems to help people learn better, both for rehabilitation as well as the novel aspect of our work to uh, utilize brain-computer interfaces as an experimental infrastructure to study basic scientific questions about how the brain works. I believe BrainHub is one of the strongest centers in neuroscience and computational neuroscience in the world. There are over 120 faculty members who are involved in some sort of brain research here in Pittsburgh, and everyone is within 10 minutes of walking distance from each other. And this creates a really vibrant community, and uh, I believe that this is one of the fastest growing and most exciting places to do brain research today.